audio levels to start off with, but we will be jumping into top six shortly. If anyone's in the chat, say hello, let me know we're all good. Tried to spruce the place up a little bit. Can't hear me? Is the mic actually not working or do I just need to be louder? I'm trying to position it nicely for you all. <laughs> but we've got some technical difficulties. I, yeah, I hope you all noticed the, uh, <laughs> the plushies in the background. I've got it all set up for you today. But should be good. Like last time, we're going to go through top six of our latest RCS bracket. Um, so that would be our Victorian Couch Warriors Rivals of Ethan Rambat. Um, featuring players like myself, Mast, Osu, Conga, even a random Seven Flame, although you're not going to see him on stream today, unfortunately. <laughs> but um, the way we do it is a bit of like an analysis commentary sort of stream, since I'm, I've been playing the sets myself. Um, you won't get like a commentator experience. If this is your first time watching the sets, don't be disappointed if I'm not doing the, the wild crazy commentary. Just um, just want to talk about some stuff, uh, especially grands. I've got a lot of, lot of ideas from grands that I want to talk about with everyone near the end of the stream, so stick around for that. But for now, let's get into our first set. Um, so we're going winner's semis. Um, on that side, we have myself versus Congo, and on the other side, we have Mast versus Osu. So starting off with myself versus Congo now. Let's get into it. Um, let me know audio levels and everything if it's all good as we get into the first game. Okay. <clears throat> now this is the first time Congo and I have played since the big Aliana patch. So, I immediately knew I had a bit more control in the set than I probably would have had previously. Um, mind changes, very significant, how he's, uh, his steam, or his heat rather, reduces, significantly nerfs, and it really affects his ability to come down offensively from, from offstage, which is uh, it's really important, especially in, in this matchup. So I've started uh, pretty offensively here, I've, I'm in control, I've done a couple of nice things with mine, but I'm mostly just... <laughs> that was cute. He thought I was going to tech on the stage, but I managed to SEI in the ball tech. But I think this matchup is, um, yeah... Oh, I think I got caught out by the extended end lag feature there. I don't know if that was, that was right, that looked very short in comparison to usual. So that is great mind control, uh, missile control rather. But for the most part, I think I can play this match as a uh, as a zoner more than anything else. Get my wins where I can. Read some read some rolls. <laughs> I love that the rock beats out the mind there. It's so good. Like I knew it was flying towards me, but I'd already thrown out the rock, so it was like I could ignore it. I don't think Kong can do that, but. Made for a fun time. I was trying to read a tech there. He didn't tech, but he still didn't react to what I have, what I was planning. That's the thing you might notice as well. When he's trying to run towards me with overheat, I'm ready to parry more than I am anything else. I think that's something to bait out. I think I tried to parry and it moved my hit bo my hurt box up because the crouching hurt box was just short enough that it powered through. This is a two plus stock deficit right now. Congo finally taking the first stock of the game. That was cute. Cut the one frame up. <laughs> that tiny little bit of steam there. Okay, that's over. I mean, there's not much to say there. Um, Kongo just needs to get more comfortable in the matchup, and I'm not sure if he was quite prepared for for this patch. But we'll go into game two, in which um, I had to teach Kongo a little bit about Australian rivals. Um, we do stage bands first, and then we pick characters. So I knew he was planning on swapping to, uh, to Shovel Knight, 
I let him know beforehand, and uh, he's managed to take me to Jules Vale here as his Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight is a character that I don't think anyone in Australia can say confidently that they have matchup experience in. I think we're all lacking in it. Um, I mean, the past couple of patches, I want to say, very significant changes to the character, and I think that's something that we need to get used to. His, uh, his weight is interesting as well. He's, um, he's quite heavier than you would first expect. I guess heavy armor sort of does that. So that's me trying to catch him at the, the peak of his of his anchor. Shovel Knight doesn't have a hitbox right at the very peak of um, his anchor, so you can hit him out of it if he tries to do anything tricky. <laughs> Another thing to note is for all characters, and I'd maybe let it go a little bit early there. Um, Shovel Knight's forward special will always lose projectiles unless he does it fully charge. Neat. I wonder if I should have gone for up smash there. He was like in the air, drifting with bad DI. I probably could have got out of Normally that's like a free kill. For Craig, but with the pillar there, it made it very awkward. Like as soon as, as soon as you anchor like that, and because I have the rock in my hand, it's just uh, missed opportunities. I think it's really smart that Tonga went for that while I had the rock. I think it's very silly that he is fishing for up smash rock in neutral work. But maybe that's something that ooh, I was not expecting that. Hitbox didn't reverse, so I wasn't able to tech. Just didn't have the time. Too slow. Yeah, you're in too much. Taking too much of a scent. Conga's opted for Momentum Mail quite early on as well. He's not gone for a relic. Um, it was interesting. I was watching a bit of Sparks Shovel Knight at, um, I believe it was Elevate, but I can't remember. Maybe it was not, not Overgrowth. One of them over the course of last weekend, and um, I noticed that his Shovel Knight always chose a Relic first, so I guess it's a choice he need to make, but he seemed to be opting for Mobile Gear. I think Ghost Glove is one of the more powerful options right now. <laughs> I will say up front, I don't think the Anchor is, is good there, like the fishing reel. The Crags on the pillar. Um, if I parry that, it's just like free, free entry onto the Sage. I just wasn't expecting it. Like I'm still trying to figure stuff out. <laughs> you can see I wasn't even trying to go for a down smash. I'm just trying to figure out defensively how he's going to move. And I was a bit slow on the punish there, so I weaved back out. I tried to fake him, and he managed to walk right into it. I think that was another case where I like I had to crouch underneath the hitbox thing, and it just didn't work because I stood up too hard too early. That's cute as well, the rock blocking the, the mobile gear. This is uh, quite a long game, actually. I think maybe there needs to be like a highlight or something on the mobile gear when you parry it. I must admit, watching it, I was a little confused as to <laughs> who the mobile gear belonged to, even after I just parried it. See, Shovel Knight without resources is still okay, for the most part. Oh, that sucks. I wanted to parry his hitbox, but the Rock Shard's knocking him right back in a position where I couldn't edge guard him anymore. Oh, that's really bad as well. Still not dead. Heavy character. Melee momentum increases your, um... Or reduces your knockback, rather. Just a couple frames earlier, and that would have been Kong's game right there. Off smash just a little bit too late, managed to get the air dodge. Scary stuff. And we're going to his favourite stage, which is Spirit Tree. I don't know, I think America is like the small stage meta. Over here, I think most of our players prefer the larger ones to 
the most part. I mean large, but like medium sized, I guess. Just something I noticed. Conga really likes the small stages though. Which I understand is um, it's Shovel Knight. But you really have to go on the aggressive side here. <laughs> I managed to weave in a crouch taunt there. <laughs> okay, here we go. So I crouch cancelled it and tech straight away. So it wasn't wasn't a huge deal there. But I did um did not get hit afterwards, so got that rock hit me in a weird way. That's me trying to dare the rock, I think. Hey. <laughs> no. Nah. You never try to parry. If you have a projectile, throw the projectile. If you don't, maybe just jump up with an aerial or something. If they try to jump cancel and hit you, you're already in the air with an aerial. Uh -huh. I wasn't able to stop him from getting money there, but that was an opportunity. Now he's enough for ghost gloves if he wants them. No, oh, he has enough for a full rally. Looks like he's trying to stay on the aggression at the moment. I always expect that to have a little bit more end lag than it does. I think it's really strong on stage because of it. Like not all characters can jump up and punish it from certain heights. That's greedy as fuck, don't go. Maybe it's an SK thing where you just stand in the middle of the stage and you start charging strong attacks. That's why I think like gear gloves and stuff is good. Because it promotes projectile usage instead of just going for Hail Marys. And I also forgot about the dynamo charge change as well. So my rock in neutral, and my pillar in neutral, is now a risk to me. Because if he dares it, he gets his um, strong attack charge. Which can be scary. That would have been cool if it worked. Didn't judge the tech right. That's another interesting thing that they can do as well. See, I'm trying to go for a fair, and I ended up all jumping by accident. I don't know how it happened. But that was a free, free entry on the stage. I'm waiting too much. Never, I could have just up to it straight away after you whiffed that. Yeah, that's what you need to do. Like, you need to get right on top of them. Cover any of the escape options. Shovel Knight can cancel forward special straight away if they, um, they parry. So it's like they can fake movement. So right here, that sucks by the way. But right there, instead of releasing that, um, that charge, I would have released the stick and just push parry and then punish every, any single like whip option they have, because the end is quite low, and if I had an up smash there, Shovel Knight's like 10 frames positive I think, which isn't enough to punish me as such, you might be able to get like a drop down Nair, but it's enough to position yourself better, I think that's, that's enough of a win in that situation. I'm rambling about the small stuff. Anyways, that is a 3-0, but it did not look like it. Um, those last few games were actually quite close. I think um, matchup experience, I definitely learned quite a bit in that set. For that set. I'm not sure. I, I did speak with um, with Conga briefly about whether he was going to pursue Shovel Knight in the future as like a secondary. I think it covers a couple of his matchups really well. Um, I don't know if we'll use it against uh, Mars in the future, for example. I don't know if this was a matchup that he maybe wanted to whip out the Shovel Knight. Eliana's quite strong in this matchup, all things considering. But uh, a lot of decisions to make for him in the future. But for now, we get to do my favourite part and start deleting some replays. And then we'll go straight into Mars vs Osu. Another one of my favourite matchups. I love watching these two play. Yeah, just minimize my game. There we go. <laughs> I think the first stock exchange 
with Osu is really important for him. A lot of the time he'll try to get Lily down straight away, or he'll prioritize placing Lily. But sometimes, the two decisions, they're in conflict. Where if you get the mark, you then don't want Lily down. Because if Lily is very easy for the opponent to parry, then that becomes a risk for him. And he needs to control parry, uh, control Lily rather. So it's like the first, even the first five seconds of the game are just so important in terms of the decision making. So even then, uh, Master's marked right now, he's at 83%. Having Lily on a platform isn't so bad because you can do stuff like this. If Osu had to place Lily on the ground, however, one hit from Mars means that he can just run up and parry and remove Mark and then Osu then needs to have to, he has to work again for the threat. Unfortunate DR on that down smash, but what do you do? Like that, that's what I mean. I think um, prioritizing Lily on the ground like that is, is, is weird to me. And it's it's getting him hit up like this. I think you need to use your platform movement and start marking on a platform, especially in this matchup. Any any character with like fast ground game in particular, I think he'd be able to get away with it. It was a uh, crag, for example. But I don't know, man. This is a, it's a scary matchup on both sides. I think Marcel almost had the DI to detect that or escape. I don't know. Double parry does not give the opponent involved. Upon seeing that second parry, uh, Osu should have just hit him up with a, with a forward tilt or something. I don't know. Whatever you like. But he just ran through him. I like Lily in this position. <clears throat> I think one thing you can be doing is... Um, I hate it when he does that. <laughs> One thing you can be doing is cover off the ledge closer and every now and then just do like a B-reverse seed throw into Lily and spit it up high. So if uh, Mars goes for a high recovery, he can then get marked by Lily that spits out the, uh, the seed. It's like super niche, but I wonder if it'll work. But edge guarding is the big takeaway from this set. At least that's what I was seeing at the time. Really important DI there. Um, the DI in at this percent isn't going to hurt Mars so much. He's at too high percent to be knocked away, but it means that he can escape Lily. He's not going to get wrapped there. Game two. Oh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I didn't celebrate Osu's win, but I'm happy for him. Game one, let's go. Game two, however, he lost at the stage flick screen. You always ban this against Zetaburn. And we, I have spoken in the past about how like these overhanging platforms are really good for Maple. Terrible DI again. That first stock DI, I don't know what it is. Osu's died twice on that first stock, really bad DI. But um, I think Spirit Tree is an exception. Um, you do not go to this stage against it. It's just too scary, man. It's like there's some niche recovery things that both players can do on this stage they can't do otherwise, like a couple angles that they wouldn't otherwise be able to hit. I don't know. Stage bans are everything. He's got no resources here. He just needs to... Yeah, okay. Still has nothing, but that down special recovers the double jump, so he needs to... Yeah, okay. That The strong attack's bad there. He has his double jump. Osu either didn't realize didn't count on it, didn't recognize, I don't know. Um, and he just started sh charging a strong attack. But you need to jump up in the pair there. He's taken the stock in the end, but it's just, um, it's like a missed opportunity there, or something you need to get better at with the edge guarding. So I like that. I like the really close wall jump there cover on the platform there. That's good, that's what you want to be doing at the stage. I just think the blast zones are so scary in the platform. Yeah, like it. Like a lot of the characters can cover the platforms from underneath it as well. Like large jab, bubble tilt, hitboxes, stuff like that. Yep. 
Yikes. <laughs> I don't know if he caught him without his jump then, but it looked like he was either just landing or just about to land. That's that's rough. The eye's letting you down, buddy. I don't know what kind of monster chooses alternate stage things. Give me some fire capital, give me some classic fire capital music. That's the real letdown of this scene. Eesh. Interesting. I don't know if I would have drifted in with the other special there. It's like one of those things where you mix him up by going on the wall. Okay, nice. See, when you do put Lily on the ground, you do have to have the sound mind to defend it. And being the aggressor in that situation, when you know they're just going to run forward and parry, it creates a lot of mix-ups that both players need to be aware of. Oh, he had the right idea with the, the crouch there, but... Maple's Disjoint just isn't good enough to be the offender in that situation. You need to like do some movement stuff. Yikes. Oh, that was interesting. You can't cancel down special with forward special, can you? Like, that was just him going straight out of the... Out of the down special. If he could, that'd be sick. Like, after a certain window. Bit of a mix up with the down tilt DI. That's a classic right there from Maple. Any bad DI on down tilt is amazing for them. And Mars was very proud of what he just did there. He, uh, he waited to parry Lily until right when Osu uh, dropped down. And he made sure to tell me about it after the set. Just what I mean to be proud of him. <laughs> oh, yikes. See, you can, you can tether during combos like that, but you need to choose short tether. Long tether just adds time. I think he's looking through here. Oh. Anytime Mars does that up special bullshit like that, you need to shame him for it. Because it does not work. I think it says game and set, but we sort of got another game to win, I think. I think it was, was it best of three, but it should be best of five. Yeah, that up special doesn't confirm into anything. Um, the hitbox starts really slow, it has low disjoint. Like, if he just forward tilts there, he does so much more for himself than just having a shitty mix up like that. Really frustrates me when he does it. I always make sure to tell him about it after the Oh no. Didn't read the tech properly. It's really tricky. You need to be a tech chase monster. Some matchups. Oh, the sound bug happened. Hey, I've been trying to find a replay where it happened. But I don't know if that's um because of the replay or if it's uh, reproducible. I'm gonna have to watch this replay back after this stream. Interesting. He had the high recovery. I don't know if he would have had time, but if you make it out, he used his resources as well at least, but he used them all at once, which is scary. You don't want to always use all of your resources on your first recovery attempt. Sometimes you just use one resource, then if you get hit back, you have the other one. Tether to the wrong direction and master didn't know about it, but I'm really glad about the return there. <laughs> I think that jab only connected because I assume tried to hit him or something. Extended his hurt box. Hey, Lily. Okay, never mind. Oh my god, these second place is what's really killing him at the moment. Did it happen again with the up special? Is it like out of hit stun or something? It makes it really hard to react to if you can't hear the up special. And twice it hasn't gone off. Like that's just that's just unfortunate. Okay. Oh, alright. See, I don't know if I would have gone for the up to it. I would have predicted a tech there. I don't know if no tech was better because of that. But I for sure would have dropped down and tried to cover something. And you can react to the no tech option a lot of the time. 
And even if you don't go for like an offensive option, you can still react to it and back off. I think that's just as good sometimes. But anyway, solid win for Mars. Oh yeah, Mars has to taunt. Let's delete some replays. Woo! Um, we're going to do some loser sets for a little bit. So for those of you in loser side, we've got uh, Ludo and Congo. And Malotech making his first appearance on the stream. Congratulations to Malotech. <laughs> um, he'll be playing Osu. So we'll start with uh, Congo Ludo. And this is Ludo's first local event ever. But he just moved down to Victoria, which is um, undisputedly the best city in Australia. And anyone who thinks otherwise needs to have a chat with me. See, this is the, the sort of stuff I'm talking about. Like, every time you anchor off stage like that, and I see shovel lights of every level try to go for it. It's like you're just giving you an opportunity to get stage control or punish you for it. Because you're going to have to recover. It's like. Shovel Knight's recovery isn't inherently broken and that he can get back to the stage every time without having to have a mix up. Ludo does know that um, the tongue doesn't have a hurt box, right? Like, he could have. He could have tongued that entire time that Congo was charging the attack. And it would have hit him. Oi! <laughs> nice. Oh, the up air coverage is nice. I didn't realize that would cover air dodge. I guess the hitboxes are way bigger now. That's another situation where, um, like the projectile thing I was talking about. You know Ludo has needles just anytime he wants them, so just land it, throw a needle. If he doesn't move straight away, just keep tossing it until he does. He'll have to jump cancel, he'll have to cancel it. In which case, you're probably going to come out on top. Like, it worked out for him there, but then he went for a tongue, which wasn't, wasn't the best option. Single needle has more end lag as well. That's something else to remember. If you have multiple needles, um, you are going to be actionable faster and it's going to make certain things a lot easier to connect. I noticed Ludo getting like a needle hit and he'll go in like he's got the advantage. I don't know if that's like an online thing, but single needle doesn't do anything for you. Single needle is like, yeah, fuck you, yeah, I got poison, I'm going to back off and enjoy my 2%. Plus whatever you do for poison. Oh, why are you charging the attack? Warhorn is so laggy. Just like hit him. He's at a high enough percent, it's gonna work. Yeah, see it. This stage does not have a high blast zone. There's no point in grabbing the bags right now. Conga's got his relics and his, his armor. Tongue! Oh. What are you doing? Gotta watch the other player. He, he could be dead here. No, fair him! Oh, you waited so long. Even just like double back here there. Tongue! There we go. Hit him up again? No. See, I don't think you need to be going for like the, the vertical options right there. He's at 60%. Just hit him off with a fair, hit him off with a back air, I don't care. Get him off stage, make him disadvantaged. Like, if he has to spend time recovering, that's an option that he won't want to use. It's going to put him in a worse state than anything. Hey, that's what Ludo really needs to focus on right now. He needs to just focus on getting him off stage more and focus on his advantage like that. Like Congo. When he's in the air, he has more options too. It's tough. Gotta choose my replays carefully because they're all mixed up now. Okay. Kind of winning the game handedly, but still deciding to swap. I don't know if he just thinks that it's going to be an easier time. Um, I don't know if he swapped before or after the stage was chosen. But, man, I don't know about Eliana and FD. Oh, you don't need to go for a smash attack. He's at 50%. Come on. Oh, yes. 
just one of those things where you need to be a bit more creative with the hits. It's hung there, it's like all of his in has gone. I think he tried to nair the minor way, but now doesn't hit up that high, so it's never gonna work. Use up all these resources after the wall. I don't know man, Ludo's just pulling anything he's got out. Like, I'm not watching Congo win, like, right now. I'm watching Ludo lose. That's how I feel. I don't know if knocking him into the bubble was worth it. Bubble refreshes double jump. He's still got missile out. I don't think when you're overheated, you should be going off stage like that. I think that's when you need to... Like, even though I'm... Even up special. Maybe cover more there. You know, like double jump up to I, I, That'd be a weird setup, but I still don't like going out after the bubble like that. He's got double jump. Didn't need it. Okay. Oh, you had you had him. Oh, you didn't up there either. Okay. He waited too long. After the tech, you can just instant back air. Just land, turn around, back air. And he's misspacing all of these tongs as well. I don't know if he's trying to threaten. Hunger, he's trying to hit the ground, but he's doing nice neither right now. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, yikes. Alright. Now, I didn't watch this game live. I walked away at this point. Because Conger's just gone and swapped Edelus. I cannot imagine this is a good matchup at all. <laughs> He's just killing it. I don't know if Ludo has any experience against Italus. See, he's... I will say, Ludo impressed me with his, like, his bubble recoveries. But all of his other forms of recovery needs a lot of work right now. Because even just like what he's doing there, hugging the wall with up special, that's good. That's kind of what you want to do with Rano. His up special is like frame 7 or 8, and the hitbox covers quite a bit. Like, it has like a mind blast hitbox, which is substantial. I feel like you had time to tech there, now you just have no resources after this. Yeah. It's one of those things where you don't need to overcomplicate it. You can cut it down to basics and it works for the most part. But anytime you tongue there, Dude, give me a kind of time to get you out. That's what Hong has been, been good at this set. Interesting. I wouldn't have just chosen down strong. I worked. I guess he... Ludo wasn't expecting it either. I just armors through it. Classic. Oh, come on. <laughs> Gotta hit him with the down air. I really think Ludo would be doing a better job if he just stop using Tom in all my sort of situations. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah, joke. <laughs> no! <laughs> Ludo! Oh, what are you doing? Oh, it hurts. I can't believe that was a full set. <laughs> Alright, let's just move on. Let's not talk about it. Go to Osu Mallow Tech. My god, maybe it is. This is a case of seeing who can throw each other at him. Oh, the other person harder. It's one thing that Mallow Tech's good at is throwing himself at the other person. Like, I'd expect Osu's experience to just outshine Mello in every regard here. Okay, Lily's not quite ready yet, so you don't need to go for the reverse hitbox there. Yikes, just hitting him there. Ah, but that's one thing, Osu, like he... It's the edge guarding. Strong attack there, it's just no good. Just hit him off a forward tilt. Like, I don't think... I think a lot of people think you need to edge guard immediately, you need to get the kill immediately. 
that's not how it works in Rivals. Melotech used all of his resources before he got to the wall, or immediately after. Osu then just needs to forward tilt him off. Melotech has no resources again. Then he gets to the wall. He gets hit off again. He gets to the wall. He gets hit off again. And you do that until they're dead. That's what Rivals is like for the most part. You don't need to get the kill immediately. And it's something that I really want to stress because it's frustrating when people overcommit with like Hail Mary plays, like strong attacks at the edge like this. Like he didn't need to do it there. It's just so committal and it just makes you look silly when you when it whiffs and the other person gets on for free. Okay. See, you let him get back on there. That's, that's, that's just like, just nair him off. I know it's not going to hit him far enough back, but like he's used all his resources again. He didn't need to use the strong attack. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I knew I'd be frustrated going into this set. I just had a feeling. <laughs> oh, he's integrated the parry into the combo. See, that's the sort of stuff Osu needs to get better at. Like, the, the chase off there, when he does that, it's so much better. Oh man, Mello, that was actually impressive. Like, he did the, the jump, the, uh, what is it, the ledge boost? Double jump off there. Played the offensive, got the kill. Like, that is well deserved. Oh, yikes. Got marked. Alright, now they're both marked. Game's over. <laughs> Just dash that really. Alright. Okay, that's just one poor decision at the end there. fellas. That's why I don't think Lily is like super important to prioritize on the ground. Like it just <laughs> creates a stalemate. I don't know if the stalemate's what you want. Now neither of them want it the out after the first first exchange, which is interesting. It's like why is it so important to have it the first first exchange, but you're not gonna prioritize it after you reset neutral. And parry? Yep. Yeah, sneaking in there. Nice. Our special having really low um low end lag means that you can get that not up special up here, means you can get that up special up and cut. Pretty often, even when you're up here whiffs. It's actually really good. Okay. Ooh, okay. I tried to get on with the back air and just didn't work out. It's unlucky. Yep. I'm of half a mind to just ignore Lily in that situation. Use your parry respawn to go offensive, and then later on, if you need to get rid of Mark, like, in the Maple Ditto, of course, later on, if you need to get the Mark, that's when you'd go for Lily. See, like, he's backed off, Melotex chased him, but Osu's putting down Lily, so he can't, can't do much. It's just, it's too much, too much Lily for my liking. It's really interesting that the opponent's Lily doesn't do anything about seed. I wonder if in the ditto, if it would like eat seed and change ownership, if that would be interesting. So I think even Osu was expecting something to happen there. I think every ditto has some element where you can affect the other person's stage control in some way. Like Forsburn, you can use the other person's smoke. Sylvanas. Grass. Stuff like that. I don't know if it happens in like Aliana Dinos. I wonder if mine's like that. I went completely off track again. Good. Anyways. These are my rambling streams, okay? I'm just gonna shout random rubber things at, at the, the audience. Hey. Did that just a little bit out of order. So I do like this stage. I think it's... I like a really neutral stage for, for 
of maple in almost all matchups. Like the top platform is just at a little bit of an awkward height for Lily to chain into a lot of stuff. He's gonna choose not to recover, that's just gonna happen. Nice, nice. Keep it going. Alright, didn't need it, didn't need it. Jump up there. Jump up there. Didn't, didn't need the trunk attack, he used all his resources. Oh, yikes. Go to the wall, you saw him charging it. That special is interesting. Like, I think if I was Melee Tech, I would have been ready for him to go through the platform rather than land on it. Crap. Off stage, and he's chased him off. Yep. He's got a covered mark. Okay, there we go. Didn't quite hit it, but the idea was there. Okay. Does back hit of um, down strong have more knockback? Or is it just like a DI mix-up that Osu does? Because I notice him do it a lot. Like, far more than what's reasonable. Like, it's just, it's much slower. So I'm wondering if he, there's actually a reason he's doing it. Must be, must be DI mix-up instead of knockback, surely. Game off. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just know, I, like, if there was a camera recording this set, I would be in the background shaking my head or putting it into my hands. And... <laughs> I like that though, like standing on top of Lily when you're when you're tethered. I wonder if that covers all all angles, and if you read the angle right, that was cool. Like that was actually a really good idea by Melotech there. I, the set hasn't gone his way, but I, I saw Mello actually do some nice things, and he had some nice ideas. It's just, uh, Osu just has the experience. It's the leak zone replays. Okay, uh, still on loser side. So this is loser's top four. Loser gets fourth. We got Osu Konga. Let's get this. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I just fair him. He didn't even get the, get the fish as well. Gained nothing from it. He gained a neutral loss. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, nice. I don't think I don't think he was ever gonna di in on that second up here. I think the uppercut wasn't necessary. You just land. It's one of those things where it's like, if it works, you look like a genius and you give yourself such a reward. If it doesn't, then what's gonna happen? I guess that's really bad for Conga to get marked there. He had so much time to react to the scene that he could have parried or got out of the way. Gave it to gave it to free. Just means that being wrapped now is such a risk. Okay, this is good. No tech. Okay. Oh, all right. That was like an F tilt. I could see it. Hey. Oh, okay. He's waiting. He waited last time and it worked. So I think he was just trying to do it again. And now he's trying to figure out how to edge guard. Anchor. Oh, what? Oh, 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 oh. That's not what you want. Okay, that's probably a bit better. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> Alright. We took a stock. I can't wait for these six minute games coming up. Surely not. Yeah, alright, hit him, hit him. Oh, just forward tilt. Oh. I think forward tilt is actually one of Maple's best moves. No, it's just disappointing that Osu's just not 
just whacking them off. Alright, just missed. Alright, yeah, you're okay. Weed back in too soon. It's interesting. Shovel Knight can like mix up the timing when he lands. Like he can fast fall almost immediately. That momentum mail just makes it scary. Okay, he, I could see he was trying to get a tech chase, but he just didn't react in time. Alright, nice. Oh, what are you doing waiting? Is it just like, is it the DI mix up? I don't know. It made no sense. Just hit him off. Okay, yeah, alright. He knew he wanted to go to Lilith to get hit away. I think it was smart by Conga, it was even smarter by Ozu. In the, on the platform there. It's actually quite nice. I wonder if um, Osu does that quite a bit. The positioning there it makes it very awkward. Just maybe in this matchup. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> feels really bad when you're just running around in neutral the ground a little and get hit by a maple seed. Oh, you didn't need a strong attack. You had the read. Just up tilt him. It's like Maple's movement is so good that you don't need to commit to strong attacks like that. You can just bolt in and do whatever move you like. Alright, alright. I feel like this game is much tighter than it actually is because a whole lot of nothing is happening. <laughs> We're just trading blows a lot. Okay. Oh, we're stacking up percent. Oh, no. He's dead, right? Oh. <laughs> Classic. Glad we got some change going on here. It's a cute little mine set up. Didn't do anything, but it's cute. It's good that we're seeing Osu with um, steam control early on. It means Conga's less likely to rely on it, and it'll make him really think about what he's doing. And if there's any doubt in his mind, it's, it's good for Osu. Although he needs to be careful about these uppercuts after up is. I know the risk is really good, but... At a certain point you got to respect the other player too. That Steam actually did a lot of work there. Oh, is he dead? Oh, okay. Oh. Never say never. Oh. <laughs> Can't believe we caught him out. Nice, that was a good jab. He had no resources. Like, he had his air dodge, but he used his double jump. I don't think Ozu realized it until after. Yeah, you never want steam on ground level. That's one thing I've, I will comment on. Steam on ground level means parry. And knocking it into the ground so that Ozu can parry it just seems like a bad idea. Yeah, so he parries it on the ground there, and you lost your steam on the platform because of it. And then he parries. It did nothing. It released some heat and then created an obstacle for you. Like, if you want to release heat, just standing on the ground is good enough. You can threaten without it being in the air. As, as Eliana, to some degree. I won't make that as like a definitive setup, but... All your heat. You're gonna eject any second now. Oh. Okay. Okay. I don't. Conquer just seems to be throwing himself at those really hard. 
I mean, this is almost definitely a tough matchup, but I'm, I'm wondering if he can. He has other ways to approach other than Steam and what he's doing at the moment. Like, I think the missile stuff's good, but you need to be able to combo up. You can't just missile and then start charging drum attacks. When you, um, parry missile, you gain control over its movement, don't you? I would love to see, like, top-level play. Someone parry a missile and then missile loop the Aliana. That'd be amazing. I'm fairly sure you do. Congress is trying to use his new bag of tricks with mine at the start of each stock, which is really funny. That was cute. Like, he covered his landing with the mine explosion. I quite like that. I don't know if I would have gone for the sticky there. You don't need the sticky, you needed the dare. Like, the, the dare into forward tilt there knocked Osu off stage, which is what he could have done before without having the mine sticky, because the mine didn't really come into play until after there's trades going on. Managed to catch him before he checked as well. There's actually some good stuff coming from Kongu here. And he had time after Lily as well. I think that's the first time we've seen Kongu use super special like at this game. Or this synth, rather. So even if he is like setting up Steam to be parried, he's at least knocking it away so it's not an obstacle for himself after. Oh, that's gonna send him flying. Okay. He just threatened, that's all he needed to do. I'm not sure what Osu can be doing better. I'm focusing a lot on Congo right now to be honest. frames. He had a full second. Oh, yikes. I like how these streams just evolve into me yelling at our own players at a certain point. <laughs> it's, uh, I, really, I find it really cute. I don't know. It's <laughs> He only does it at the start of the match, but it's like... Because he only does it at the start of the match, it's so expected that it doesn't do anything. Okay. He's got full heat. Uh, the up tilt's looking at it, yeah. Okay. Oh, yikes. Just down tilt. How are they on a down tilt? Is it frame 4 or is it much higher? I can't remember. I don't know, if you're ever in a position at down tilt as Eliana, just do it. Oh, yikes. <laughs> Sent the missile into the wall. Okay. That's good. I'm glad he wasn't worried about steam. Like, he, he knew he could up air through it. I was interested to see if he had to work around it, but it was, it was clever. And it's, it's good that he used his info on the charge through as well. Like that's the sort of thing you need to be doing in neutral against Conquer. You can just back off and let him make mistakes like that and give you advantage. I, it seems to be more noticeable in this matchup, matchup personally because Ars has to play a lot closer to get his advantage in comparison to what I was doing with Craig using rocks and shards and stuff. 
So it's like th those small things are what Mars needs to be doing to, to gain the advantage there. Okay, he's, he's punishing with the end like there. That's good. Alright. I was waiting for the dare to come out. If Bosu is not confident about parrying missiles, like he doesn't want to take the risk of parrying and then the parrying whip, maybe he just needs to start crash cancelling. Like you can threaten a lot by crouching. Ah, you didn't need the strong attack. Aliana's movement's too good for the strong attack there. Hey, he crash cancelled! There we go! <laughs> Is this Meditech coaching? Does it count if it was two days afterwards? That was a good win from Congo. I think that's his uh, his best like PR win so far, and it's definitely secured him his um, his best placing. For any local event or any like stacked online event, it's, it's a locked in third place. Gotta be happy with that. But now we get to head over to our last three sets, which means winner's side, winner's finals, myself first mast. This is the rivalry we all, we all came to watch. I'm going to do some really cool stuff in this set, and I'm going to do some really bad stuff in this set. And I'm going to talk about the discovery I made right after it as well. See the up special thing there? Oh god, it frustrates me. I really like Tower of Heaven. Just everything about it. I'm a little fast with that fair, it always connects there. I think I could have got it out faster, I just didn't. Oh, the shards hit him the wrong way around. Just didn't space it right. That narrow and half is nice. Really hard to do. It's gonna be fast. I've got no resources right now. Yeah. Oh. It was clever with the like the wave. Wave land back, but dash attack's just no good when they're up close. The reward for dash attack's really good, but you need to be careful because if you do it when they're, they're up too close, it does nothing for you. You just go through them and you look stupid. Down tilt. There we go. Right. You can see I'm very careful not to overextend, especially against Mars. I wait a hell of a lot. I wait. I just won't do anything. I'll I'll get a hit and I know I won't be able to follow up on his DI, so I'll just I'll fake him out and I'll make him try to counterattack me and then I'll punish the counterattack instead. Oh, really bad. He need to stay on the pillar then. Going back to ledge, just let me get back on. If he stays on the pillar like this and I can't do a high recovery like I just did there. It means he can always parry me if I try to like forward special to get back onto the pillar, or at the very least hit me off again. Like if you, like I think with fair, would do it. He's gaining ground right now. That's scary. It's really hard for Crag to maintain stage control against someone like Zetaban. It's just like empty movements. Just it's tough, dude. I was too late on the up air, but it would work. Should have been up here. There, gang. Okay, there we go. It wouldn't have killed, as you see, but I think it's good to threaten with. Just 40. I got me the, the stock there. Um. Okay, we're going to go back to the very first part of this stock to show you what I, I just learned. And it's it seems really small, but it's really crucial. I think it happens right after this. I'm gonna wave land back and I'm gonna pull rock right here. And when I do, it's gonna be reverse. I didn't mean to be reverse it, but there is currently a bug where the B reverse window is shorter on the ground than it is in the air. 
Oh shit. Okay. You didn't need the visuals yet. You need the visuals now. I paused the game. Sorry. Um. <laughs> but when you wave land off, the B reverse window then extends back to 16 frames. So then you B reverse when you never meant to. So I wave land off and I B reverse straight away. If I pull a rock in that situation, I don't know if B reversing makes it more difficult to pull the rock, which is another consideration. But if I pull a rock, I can't throw it down and fair. Which means I can't move forward and fair, which means I've now have to turn around when I land rather than being able to jump straight away. It's like so minor, but it shits me. Oh, okay, I went back to the replays. There we go. <laughs> he didn't see anything. We're going to game two now, I'm done ranting. You can talk about my language all you like. Um, I get fired up for these things. Okay, I don't. <laughs> I can't do this if I don't get a little bit frustrated. Oh, it was almost a good idea. I think he actually had time to like up smash me or something. When I uh, forward special off. The big things that we both need to watch out for in each other's recoveries. When he down specials like this. I think I need to work more on punishing him before he jump cancels our specials out of it. I think he needs to work more on punishing me when I forward special up to the ledge. I think we're both very comfortable edge guarding and reading each other's options from on the stage or punishing like very close to the ledge. Like he'll punish my close recovery sometimes. But there are like a couple of things that we need to get better at, like both of us. Attempt to punish another person. That's, that's bad. This feels like a lost game already. Just getting a vibe out of it from the way I'm playing. I'm making very sloppy mistakes. I think I should have dropped down a bit. I got the high recovery. It's silly. It would have been a good mix up at least. Oh, look at that tilt boost. Tilt boost down tilt. If you're a crag main, uh, learn how to tilt boost. My best advice to you. Okay, I shouldn't have got that stock. I think the the back air was me grasping because I realized I messed up. I should have had the second up air straight away. Bears, keep going. Ah, the audio cue. I hate this. Oh, that was greedy. It should have hit if I was a little bit closer, but it was still greedy. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I can't believe the jabs didn't connect. How have I turned this game around, by the way? That guy's a massive comeback. Yeah, nice. This crowd player looks pretty good. It's so hard to move around me that I've just gone underneath him and up tilted. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's devastating. Oh, I ended up walking instead of running. Okay, okay, okay. Hey. I think I need to be careful of how I, like, I, I put myself in the air a lot and then can't figure out how to land because I burn my resources too early. And it's not me being forced to, I just do it to myself. You know, I didn't need to do that down special. I should have just punished him when he landed straight away. Nice. Just back up. Just back up. Nice little empty landing there. That's another really underrated thing that people need to implement. You don't always need a land of an aerial. That's bad DI. Uh oh. I thought I covered that up. I'm set up. And fine. Now I'm in a pretty bad position. Oh, okay. 
If he hits the rock like that, I shouldn't be landing with a pair. I should just land straight away. And have frame advantage. Didn't need to finish the jab. I should just jab one and then realize he was too far away. Crucial mistakes. I've let Mask get away with this. Like, I had a massive first stock, you know, just um, I've let it slip quite a bit here. Oh, I messed up the up tilt chain. That's something cute you can do on, like, flat surfaces. You can just, like, up tilt a couple times if they uh, don't get the PO. Oh, uh, the nair was good if I had drifted back to something more. And, okay, that's, that's a silly error there. I tried to buffer a double dump bear and then the other bear came out. So you can see where I'm making my mistakes. There were some like coverage ideas there that I had that I just didn't execute properly. I got punished for it. That's why like I try not to play that committal, generally. Because if you do the if the execution kills you then it's your own fault really. You always do have the option to do less. If you ever feel like you're getting overwhelmed, start doing less of this. It's a good idea. Okay. A little bit higher and that would have been good. I wonder if like nearing the rock there would have been a better idea. Instead of making back like that. I don't know, I've tried to be reverse it, I got no idea. wants this stuff. I just have a feeling he does. <laughs> He's got double jump. There we go. Mars needs to get a little bit better than that, I will say. I'm not scared when he gets double jump all the time because he'll just use it straight away and jump into me. Ah, yes, the slow throw. Tekken place. If you know how to punish Tekken place, you've already done half your work against Mars. That's an example where the tilt boost is really bad for me. I should have uh, up tilted, I guess? I don't know. Oh. Alright. Oh, I missed the rock. Let's throw it up here. Just hit me before I... after I ran out of the fire. What <laughs> You can see me wait there. I think he had time to parry, but I missed up his timing. He's got no resources, and he's dead. Alright, two more sets to go. Mars and Conga lose his finals. I, um. For a moment, I thought this was gonna be really scary for Mars. Because he doesn't have Shovel Knight matchup. No, just like. And this is by no means a bad matchup for Shovel Knight. I think it's actually like a very winnable matchup. I think you need to think about exactly what options you wanna use. Oh. I'm so glad he didn't try a gang and do something really silly. Try to get a fear shark who failed the first time. I will say Conga maybe needs to start using his neutral special a bit more to get all these stray gems. Because it sacks up. If you're not going for like massive extensions, maybe think about just weaving in a neutral special and sucking up all the, the gems in the ground. Economy is one of the most important parts of this character, and he's not even like moved forward to pick up the, the red gem there. He's just completely ignored it. Okay. 
Yeah, that's what I mean. He just jumped off, wasn't able to do it. Like, he probably shouldn't have slid it. He just cancelled the away. He realised, like, oh, okay, I've wasted you know, too much time here. Either that or you're reacting to the berry straight away. Oh. Like, he's lost a lot of money because by not picking up the silver bag as well, which is now gone. Never true, by the way, you can always air dodge out of it. The up special? Uh, air dodge to the side or air dodge up. There's a platform above you, especially air dodge up. Like, some characters should be able to air dodge up a perfect land on the platform too, which is really cool. Not all characters can do it, but... Oh, yikes. Alright, you kind of deserve to die for going off stage like that. That was bad. That was not what you wanted. And I think you can see how uncomfortable he was in the matchup, because instead of sticking with Shovel Knight, he's now gone for Aliana's worst matchup. Um, potentially one of the worst stages he could pick. I think this is a terrible stage for him to choose. Uh, Spirit Tree, the, like the flat surface, just makes like fireballs really good. It's a great stage for Zeta Burn to just go wild with uh, combustion with strong attacks. I think that's the official name of them. The fire strong attacks. Oh, you don't need any equipment. No, it's really cool. but... <laughs> you can see Master just going. He's just trying to go crazy on him. I know you like this stage, Conga, but I just I don't understand the reasoning behind it. You didn't need it. Like, if you're having trouble getting comfortable against Mars, and you're changing to a different character, pick a large stage, give yourself some time. You can just use game two as like a knowledge game, and take a couple stocks and think about, okay, where am I winning? If you're winning because you're knocking him off stage and getting massive combos and uh, doing that, by all means, pick a small stage, but give yourself a large stage to start off with for the knowledge that you actually do need a smaller stage. I think it's like it's risky to go straight to Spirit Tree. Is Spirit Tree still the smallest stage in the game? Because, I don't it's just... Even the platforms, they don't do anything for you. The low platforms on the side, like it makes your up special practically useless a lot of the time. And it improves his recovery way more. See, Mars, stop going for it. The else special is just silly. And whatever you're doing there, Conga, just cut it out. <laughs> I'm getting more upset the more we get into this one game. Man, if Eliana had just a little bit more heat, that would have been really cool. Like the meter was a little... A little higher. Nice, nice. That was amazing! But he needs to nair, he needs to not... That's another thing, like, uh, you're rising up with steam a lot. Start using nair. Speed spot nair has a 40 degree angle. Bad DI, they're dead every time. Good DI, you can get like an up air if the, day, if the DI up. Um, I think you can even get like a down air on like a rising down air, like with bad DI, like, the strong attack there, I don't know, it lost you that stock for sure, like the steam does nothing, just, come up with an air dude. Now if I wasn't frustrated enough, I'm sitting in the back waiting to play grand finals, and what do I see? Back? But Conga, picking spirit tree again. He's done it to himself again. <laughs> I don't know why. It makes no sense. <clears throat> I just I don't know what this stage was doing for him that he thought like, yeah, okay, I can win on this stage. And I know every player needs to have like a comfort pick or a favorite favorite stage that they can back themselves into, but I don't know, this isn't it. Not at all. Okay, nice. Yeah, okay. Can Eliana hit fall while she's rising up? Or do you need to like stop hovering before you hit the aerial? 
Because in those situations, like, you can pull that up here, I reckon you can get more up air chains by super, super jumping. That back air makes up the strong. Nice, nice, nice. Stocks are tied up. Oh, you didn't need it. You needed it. Down air, I don't know. Just anything else. Drifting back. Yeah. Waiting for Master to run into it. It doesn't do anything. This is why you struggle against people who wait. Waiting's overpowered. Everyone needs to learn to wait more. Like, I know people in the past have got confused when I tell them, like, you need to be able to do more by doing less. Because what you're doing there is you're locking yourself in and you've got no options left. Okay, that should be a stock. Oh, right. Before he jumps up, I'm wondering if you should let out a, a, like a missile. Because even if Mask gets a counter-attack, you can start missile looping stuff. But he just sort of committed to like a fully charged strong attack, overheated himself, made himself in a really bad position and... Yeah, Random's commenting on Master's, like, ability to punish Steam, but I don't know if Steam was what was winning him those exchanges. Like, Master isn't going up and parrying it on the ground as much, but that's because Master's movement isn't as good as Maple's. But Maple's just faster, so she has a better ability to do that. I guess it's two sides of a coin, I guess. It's just like, it's... Removing certain tools from your playstyle and replacing it with better ones. I think it's just like it's a lot, lot, of, lot of aerial usage that you need to start integrating. And I don't know if the hit ball stuff works the way I think it does. But there's definitely some focus points there. Alright, let's move on to Grand Finals. Well, one last hurrah. I will remind everyone this is an RCS local as well, so this is worth 100 points for the winner, 60 per second. I don't think the sound has been updated yet, but in the context of the season, it's a pretty important one to win. Oh, that was a good angle. That was a really good angle. God, I really wanted that rock there. Him breaking it and hitting me in the same stroke is, uh, is not good for me. Oh, if I had a B reverse that, like I was trying to, it would have worked out. Even watching it back, like I'm frustrated knowing that it would have been cool. And it would have really hurt him mentally. But now I've lost the stuff by throwing out down the drunk. Harry, oh, okay. Alright, we'll take it. Ah, oh, you gotta, like that, miss parry, that's 40, 50. This stock isn't over, this exchange isn't over. Okay, okay. That miss parry was a 50% chain right there. So I think that's really cool. When Zeta Burns can do like the up special into the ground and cancel it to bounce up and then do something like that. What was I doing with the full two? And that's what I mean with like the up special air dodge onto the platform. And I had time to beat out the up strong. It was just like I got beaten a second time. But I don't think I'll try to do it again. I really like putting uh, rock on the platform there. Every now and then it does cool things. The, the rock being there made me land weird. Okay, okay. Oh, that shouldn't have been a forward strong. I think that was a misinput. 
Oh, that's really good for me, that forward tilt. That's insane. I don't think he has any resources, though. Double jump back. Nice. I think he was complaining um, after the game because he was trying to delay the wall jump and he just got itchy fingers and did it. But god, I heard him there. That's mental damage. That's what you want to do in a, an important set. If you end up on a high like that, that does so much mental damage. Oh, that's terrible. <clears throat> I think the right call for me in that situation as the slower character is to just like back off once they wave, wave land off. It's like, okay, that platform's theirs. He's got me at 122 here. This is the most disjointed combo ever, but it somehow works out. Alright, this is this is okay. I just need a couple strong hits and the stop's over. Yeah, there you go. Alright, this is like the advanced mix up here. I've conditioned him for almost two sets straight for the, like the up throw into double jump, grab or air dodge or whatever. That now I can safely throw it up and then fast fall and feel like my in between stock is really safe and really tough for him to deal with. Like it makes him think about it a hell of a lot more than he wants to do. That was really clever for me though. I've intentionally thrown the rock down to sink the uh, the pillar so that I could get that recovery to work properly. And it was a pretty advanced one and one that I could break down in much finer detail if we weren't still watching the set. Ah! The rock shards did it to me again. Whenever there's conversations about changing that, everyone's like, oh, but it affects Crag's survivability as well. And I fucking hate that excuse. Okay, it, that's not how it works. Just, if it's not working, then change it. Like, I made him think too hard. Oh, the dash attack. Oh, if it was forward tilt or a jab. Like, the idea worked, and I just, like, whipped the dash attack. I should've got back on the stage there, it's really bad for me. Ah, uh, well, I think he's dead, actually. He went really far from that there, holy shit. I think he's still dead. Oh. <laughs> That's like a frame-perfect parry. I forgot about that. Nice. Jab one's too good, man. Alright, now this is, this is the game, right here. Let's ignore this part. This part didn't happen. Okay, the crash cancel was good there. I didn't have time to parry it, so I just crash canceled. And sort of... ...faded him a little bit. Oh, I did the dash attack again. I don't know if I'm doing it on purpose or not. I can't remember. Maybe he's just like got the DI where it doesn't work. No. Yeah, nice. That's good. Oh, the dash attack gang. Oh, gosh. I'm making a lot of silly decisions right now. That was a silly decision as well. Could have parried it. Could have died. Yikes. Alright, 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 alright. Yep. <laughs> Didn't mean anything. It's fine. Oh my gosh, there's so many bad things happening here. I need to be faster on my parry punishes. We're on the board. Okay. A couple of missed opportunities there. Alright, I think this is where the, the fun begins. Okay, he's got no resources. Go his double jump back. You throw the rock so that he has to take time with his double jump. 
I don't think he's got it. Now he's got it back again. Throw the rock. He's got his double jumper going here. Okay, but he didn't use it. Unless I sniped it out the first time. Yeah. That neutral throw when um, he's going down low is really strong. And I'm wondering if he needs to start like aiming for the rock in his up special. Because it breaks the rock. It absolutely does. And it means that he has an angle to get on stage while I'm messing about. There we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, the tech chase. But I heard, um, like, someone in the, the Crag Discord server, we had a brief conversation about how there was a patch to Crag's rock where it would only knock the character back in the same direction that was thrown. And he believed it was a nerf. In that specific situation, any of those rock throws reverse hitting would have been terrible for me. It lets him get back to the wall, potentially with his double jump, if he hadn't birds at that point. And that becomes a very strong situation where he can wall tech and maybe get back up in vulnerability. That's why I think um, the change is really good in the context of edge guarding someone like Zedivan. Or any character where you can snipe him after a wall jump. I think it's... It just makes any like edge guarding loop like that really powerful. Anyways, that is Grand Finals. Um, I don't know when Metal Cavern's going to be uploaded. Um, that was our New South Wales RCS equivalent that was ran on the same day. But once those sets are up on YouTube, I'm probably going to do a, uh, a shorter analysis stream. I'll probably, probably do top three sets or anything else. Um, just I don't know they had the same same names that I would have expected because uh, they're missing like your your, the, your Brizels, Matter or Glace like all three of them they weren't at the event which is a bit disappointing to see but I will probably be coming back later in the week to do those once they're on YouTube so it's a shorter one but I'll keep you guys updated on that um, make sure to ask me questions in the discord um, hope you enjoyed watching back your, your sets my very frustrated eyes. <laughs> but I will uh, talk to everyone soon. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be at the next Couch Warriors Monthly. That's next month. But if I'm not, I'll let everyone know. I think I might be working that day. But I'll keep everyone in the loop. And it, I'm sure it'll run with uh, with those two covering off. Uh, Vic Legend himself. <laughs> That's it for tonight. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you later.